what's good YouTube? It's your boy TKO Barber and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna hit y'all with a high taper in the back. It's on a female client, so that's all we're gonna be doing. Really nothing on the top. She used the curls to top herself. But before we get to that, man, I just wanna say thank y'all once again, man. I'm almost at 100 subscribers already. Hey, I've been putting in the work. Y'all been supporting. So hey, let's keep it going. But once I do hit those 100 subscribers, I'm gonna do a giveaway for y'all, man. So in order to be eligible to win, you have to subscribe and then down in the comment section, let me know what city and state you're from. That's it. But before we get to this cut, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Let's get it. So as always, the first thing you wanna do is make sure you brush or comb your client's hair out. Now this client, she has really, really thick hair, so I'm gonna make sure I comb it and get everything laying nice and smooth. Now I'm gonna use my Osta Fast Feed with the number four guard, and I'm just going up and removing some of that bulk before we get started. Now I'm using that comb as a guide to let me know where I wanna stop and keep everything nice and even all the way across. Like I said before, this client's hair is extremely thick, so it's going to take a couple passes to get everything nice and even. Now I'm going to use my Babyless Gold FX with the lever close, and I'm making my first line. And yeah, I'm taking it up a little high because we want this to be a high taper, and I'm going in a rainbow shape all the way across the back of her head. I'm using my wall balding clipper and we're gonna bring everything down to the skin. Now I'm gonna go up about a half inch with my lever open and make that next guideline. Now I'm still going in that rainbow shape so that we keep everything nice and consistent throughout the blend. taper or fade I like to remove that line as soon as I make it so I'm starting it with the lever close and as I go up I'm opening the lever a little bit more until I get all the way to open and as you see right here I'm basically just using the corner of my you know the corner of my blade so that I can fine-tune exactly what I'm trying to hit So right here, I'm taking my number one guard open, going up about a full inch right here. Yeah, I say a full inch, and I'm making that next guideline. Same thing, going in that rainbow shape to keep that consistency. So 
once again, I'm going to take that line out immediately. So I'm using my zero guard close. And as I go up higher, I'm going to open up that lever a little bit all the way till I get to open. Oh yeah, make sure when y'all fading, y'all flicking out. Not just going straight up. You want to flick out so that you can get that nice, smooth, blurry blend. Now I'm taking my number two guard open and we're going to start removing some of this bulk. Now make sure when you get up to the top of the hair, you want to just go straight up instead of just making another harsh guideline. So right here, I'm using my one and a half guard, and I'm just going back and softening up that transition between the one and two guards. So now I'm just coming back with my one guard open and I'm just taking out any dark spots that I may see to make for a better transition. So now I'm using my number three guard open and I'm just going up, removing any bulk and getting it ready for clipper over comb. So right here, she decided she wanted to go ahead and remove some of this bulk on the side. So I'm about to just come behind with my number four and knock that out. Now right here I saw a couple spots that I wanted to clean up, so I'm just coming behind it with my one and a half guard and just removing any dark spots that I still see. Now I'm 
coming behind with my lever open and I'm going to remove that line left behind the 1 and the .5 guard. Now you want to make sure when you're doing this you're using a corner and you're flicking up so that you ensure that you don't make another line and push that fade up even more. Now I'm just coming behind with my number one, hitting any more dark areas that I see, and just bringing this whole blend together. So now we're going to do some clipper over cone with my Oster Fast Feeds. And uh, yeah, I just love doing clipper over cone with this clipper because I don't know, it just cuts that hair off so smooth. But basically what you want to do, you're going straight up. And you're going to tilt that comb out a little bit to cut off the hair that you want to remove. So now I'm going to line her up using my Babyliss Skeleton Trimmer. And uh, this is going to be more of a slant than a curve. That's just how a natural line is. So yeah, you know, the whole point of this whole thing is trying to keep everything as natural as possible. So yeah, same thing on this side, just hitting that curve, keeping everything as natural as possible. And oh yeah, make sure y'all checking those vertical lines to make sure everything is even on both sides. All right, YouTube, so that's the cut. Don't forget to comment your city and state to enter yourself into my giveaway coming up. And also, like, share, and subscribe. And also, just leave a comment and let me know what you think. But all right, YouTube, I'm out. I'm going to see y'all next week.